Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you've had a great weekend. Uh, it's um, Monday morning. We've Screeders have been in on Friday, so I'll show you that in a bit later on. But today we're going to be getting on with some first fix um, for the new build that we're doing. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the corner. And if you haven't already subscribed, what's going on? Not good enough. Go on, hit it. Um, all jokes aside, we are going to be getting on with some first fix in here. So I'm going to concentrate on upstairs. So just give you a quick run through. This is the master ensuite in here. So as you can see, we've got vaulted ceilings running down. So I am very limited on what I can do with down lights because of uh, obviously special locations and bits and bobs like that. So master ensuite, main bathroom in here. Um, master bed in here so there's various points if you watch the other video on the tour i did of the the site uh you can see more and more of the layout so so down here um this is where we've upset the plumber new doorway new doorway unlucky um so this is obviously now on a one of the other bedrooms that um we're going to be doing so there's various sockets desks and stuff like that. that's going to be over there Another bedroom over there. This was going to have an ensuite in it, but the the heights just they're just not enough height in here. This this section here, so it's now going to be one massive, mahusic bedroom. So that's the plan for today. So we're going to be trying out some new bit new bit of kit that uh, that we've bought, um, which is actually the Dewalt cable stapler. Um, I've had a little go with it. So far, so good. Um, because like I said I've got a lot of first fix to do so just to give you a quick view on this I will do a proper review on it um, so it's the only thing I would say with it that it doesn't pinch the cables completely tight but you can hammer them you can go around and knock them on a little bit more but that seems to me that it's a bit of a pointless exercise because what's the point in doing it if you're going to get your hammer out to do the rest of it um but hey it is what it is um but yeah so far so good with that but right better get cracking uh i've got a lot to do uh thanks for all your support and i shall set you up and get cracking So that's the uh, first fix for the bathroom sorted now. Um, so we're having down like there, down like there, down like there, and one there. Um, the, extract the extractor fan is going to be in this area. So it's just going to be a uh, bit of ducting that's going to go through there. The actual motor itself, the actual fan, is going to be down there, which is, uh, as it stands right now, this is not accessible, but in, one of the rooms whether it's behind the bed here or in uh the front bedroom there there's going to be an access panel so you can get get to the crawl space that's all along here um because i need to put obviously there's gonna be a fan there and a fan there but because obviously proximity of you know we're not entirely sure on the complete layout but let's say for argument's sake there's a sink here you don't want the fan it's obviously so so close to it um, so on here, I'd like to say it might be a while before I get back uh, on first fix, uh, second fix, sorry. So 
like like I did downstairs just label it up that's for the mirror I've left that long and not pinned it yet because I need to know exactly where it needs to come through uh, for the actual mirror itself because I hadn't seen that um, so switches always on the outside don't like pull cords because they're uh, they're not really for me they, when they can be avoided then I don't really like using them um, and the extractor pan isolator um, and then that's that room pretty much sorted for me as it stands now with the Dewalt nailer stapler cable stapler whatever I actually be honest and I had a bit of a boo-boo I pierced that through one of these cables so I've had to take the whole leg out a bit of a pain in the arse all the way back through uh, and it was actually went all the way through down here and back into here so yes that was a pain in the arse so to be honest just taking that extra split second just to make sure that it's not pinched but I must admit taking that out they hold like mad in there more than I thought they would I thought they'd be quite easy to get out but but as you can see it just mangles it getting it out um but but yeah so far so good with those but like I say I'm going to get on get on with um the other ensuite now uh, the, the main bathroom sorry uh, but this spool here, just so if somebody picks you up on it, because I've had a few people going on about different bits and bobs, um, so I'd like to be clear on everything. That is for a wardrobe supply light arrangement, because there's going to be wardrobes all the way along here. So at some point, we're going to be doing some sort of internal lighting on there, on those. So I've left it long again, because I don't really know what where they're all going to be, final position-wise. Um, so yeah, so... I better get cracking on with these ones, but, uh, but yeah, plenty to do. So that's the first fix done in this room. So again, extractor fan isolator, light switch going on the outside, the down light there, another one down there, and the um, mirror supply, which like I say, I label these off. I've only just started doing it this way. Um, just find it's probably a little bit easier um, for long term, well, we'll find out. So I'm going to go into this bedroom now. So the plan in, in here is two down lights in this bit, uh, centre light, light switch to here. So that's for obviously for the lighting circuit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you up. So you're I'm going to put you on a chest cam basically, so you can see exactly how it's run, and I'll try and explain as we're going. Right. Uh, show you the process from start to finish hopefully so start the switch run your way out so on here right, so I don't know how much you're gonna see of this to be honest do it this way but so to bring that down so it's come through up there up through the ceiling and we're gonna go over to the down light so that way I'm gonna see if I can get you in a better position hold on bear with right sorry about that I just thought I'd alter it slightly so plan is try and keep these continuous as you can right, get the stapler Mm -hmm. 
So the idea is to have these down lights right in the center over there. So pull your loop back, make sure you're not too tight on it because on your position you might be over here or here, however your final, your final position will, will be. So now I'll do it, it's just pin that, those two together on there and then just wrap them so they're sort of in that position like that. So when the plasterboard goes up I said they'll just sit there and you cut your hole out and grab that through. So now it's just a case of tidying these bits up as you go. So that bit probably it's a bit awkward to know what to do with that, to be honest, but do it if I staple that like that. I did catch one of these earlier on, the cables with this stapler, so it's taken me a little bit of time to get used to it, but it's definitely faster, that's for sure. So on here, my switch wires, I always just put a little nick on it on these outgoing supplies, so I know that's an outgoing leg on there, but when it, when it comes to these ones over here, I always do it a little bit more, a bit more notes given as such. So that's the two down lights done. So the centre pendant now on here. So same going out again. Uh, and that's going to go over this way because it's just the pendant's just going to be hanging off the back side here of this one. So, so I'll leave it fairly long just in case the position changes slightly. Because then it might go over here or here, but just for the customer to finalise. I'm going to put it here just to... Because I think that might be where it ends up living. Pendant for that one. And same again. I'm there with the nicks. And then there's those three. And then we've got a supply for the wardrobe stuff the lights that's going to go on in there eventually so back up through here it's a good point to make where all your cables are going through here is you're better off because if you just pull that rapid you'll burn all these other cables so it's just a case of not it's to do it through experience really but is not to pull those through so fast on there because you will burn them pretty quick and if you burn them you gotta replace them so that's plenty So I will leave that out because I need to put a label on that. That's for that one.
And then I think I'm going to drill through to get it into that stud work. In fact, I'm going to hole through there. So that one, so let's just label that up. But yeah, so basically that's the gist of it. So that's going to be wrapped up into here, like so, and then that will be brought up with the wardrobe stuff. Um, so that'll be brought through at some stage where that is. And then uh, I need to get another loop feed out of here. So that's going to go back up along here. And that's going to go down to this point here because you've got um they've obviously got an int intermediate switch here but this one here feeds the um this big chandelier that's going over this area here and that's going to be a two-way so but i need a feed for it so that basically is what it is on there and i shall set you back up in time lapse and we'll we'll get cracking i thought i'd just just show you that how we do that So we're onto this bedroom now so it's just pretty much the mirror of that one so two double socket two double sockets two down lights sorry going in here uh another wardrobe feed coming through and a center pendant which is up there so i'm going to set you on time that's enough because obviously don't want to watch the same thing twice uh and i'll get cracking right that's the end of the pretty much the end of the day so the down lights are all in first fix for the lights up here are pretty much sorted now so all your switches are in the two-way for here goes down underneath the floor there when you factor up and show you which is actually going to be down down there so the two-way for this light here um because they want to be able to turn that on from the soft seating area that's going down there so yeah, so pretty much sorted on on these now. Like I said, I, I uh, try and keep it as simple as I can. These on here, like I say before, before I get pulled to pieces on it, this is all gonna be boxed in down here. So that's all gonna be neatened up, uh, but it's been boxed in just sort of like out here somewhere. Um, this has just been put on to stop when I do the cable runs going that way to stop it stretching out over this far because obviously we don't want it don't want it going that far um so that's basically where we're at this this cable here that's in midair that's actually going to go all the way down there somewhere because that's going to be the main feature chandelier because the stairway is coming up here so yeah so that's pretty much where where we're at um this one here has got to change slightly because the homeowner's been in uh and there's going to be a dressing table here now and wardrobe dressing table wardrobe uh so that plan is is changed slightly so it's a little bit of alterations to do tomorrow but nothing too major on that and then it's on to running the the ring main for up here um so yeah so uh hope you enjoyed the uh, the video today um i do appreciate your support so if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to hit the link in the corner uh you can follow us on instagram uh i'll put that link on as well and uh yeah i shall catch up with you later on cheers